atmospheric scientist at the University of uh, Albany. Good morning and thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. So this storm has turned into a Category 5 very quickly. Is this really normal for this time of the year? It is very unnormal for this time of year uh, to have a storm that undergoes rapid intensification not once but three times in its life cycle this early in the year is very highly unusual. So what exactly is going on here? Can you describe to us? So this storm, you know, all of the uh, outlooks for this season thought that we would have a very active hurricane season because the waters in the Atlantic were so warm. Uh, the state of El Nino makes it so that storms are more likely to form. The conditions are more uh, favorable in the Atlantic. So we were fearful that we would have a very active season, um, mainly, again, because of that very, very warm water. And that's what we're happening. That's what's happening in this case. So I'm curious to know, is this indicative of what's about to come in terms of uh, very, very devastating and powerful storms this season? It very likely could be that uh, all of our forecasting agencies were forecasting at an above average year in terms of strong storms, these major hurricanes like Beryl turned into. Um, so unfortunately, yes, this may be a harbinger of what's to come. We can the only, what we can just hope is that these storms, unfortunately, not barrel, which is going to make, which already made landfall and will make further landfalls that future storms stay away from land because it does appear we're going to have a very active season. Okay, let's talk about this storm in particular, Beryl. Talk to us about where exactly it's headed and how do you think it's going to impact Jamaica? So it, there's pretty good, um, our understanding of the next sort of 72 hours, the storm should weaken slightly uh, as it moves towards the west. It's going to be impacted by some drier air, um, by some winds in the atmosphere that should uh, weaken the storm. So it's expected that it should weaken slightly, but still be a high end, either category two or category three storm by the time it affects Jamaica. After it moves past Jamaica, it's a little bit, the forecast is a little bit unclear, both in terms of track and intensity. Um, so anybody watching with any interest in the Gulf of Mexico, Central America, should certainly watch the forecast carefully. You know, I'm just curious for uh, zooming out a little bit and talking about the bigger picture right now, not just this Atlantic, uh, this, this season at the moment, but the fact that we're seeing more and more storms becoming powerful almost every year. How much of global warming is the reason behind all of this? And in times to come, are we expected to see storms only getting more stronger? Yes, unfortunately, that, that does seem to be the case. We've, are, you know, we've done a lot of research over the last 10, 20 years looking at how global warming will impact storms. In the Atlantic, it seems like uh, that the storms we have will be more intense. There will be more rapid intensification. Uh, and global warming is a very, very large part of that. So this, unfortunately, is very likely to be... Um, a, a situation that's repeated many times over the next several years. How can we prepare for something like that? Right. So in terms of watching the forecast carefully, um, sort of thinking about your property, um, preparing supplies uh, is, is the best course of action. Uh, watching the, the forecast agencies being prepared, but thinking longer term, making sure having a supply of medications, water, food to last a few days. We'll leave it at that for this morning. Christian Corabosario, atmospheric scientist, University of Albany. Appreciate your time and insights. Thank you. Thank you very much.